good day everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to upgrade or install windows 11 on unsupported hardware this is the most effective and the best method to install windows 11 on any old pc or laptop whose cpu secure board or dpm is not supported all right so make sure that you watch the video till the end and i'm very sure by the end of this video you will be able to successfully install windows 11 on any of your unsupported hardware but before that i can show you that on my old laptop i have windows 10 and when i open the windows update screen it says this pc doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirement all right and even if i open the pc health checkup and when I click on check now on introducing Windows 11, so you will see it says this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirement. The processor isn't currently supported for Windows 11. So you might also get the same error message. But the good news is that you don't have to worry. Follow my simple steps and you would be able to successfully install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Alright, so let's get it started. First, what you will have to do, you need to bring up any of your favorite browser and open google then type windows 10 download and choose the first link of microsoft now scroll down and one problem that you will face here that you will not find the windows 11 iso download option all right so what you will have to do on your google chrome click on the three dot at the right in top then hover up to more tools and choose developer tools now here in the developer tools click on the three dot again at the right in top then hover up to more tools again and choose network conditions and once you click on it at the bottom you will find an option user agent so go and choose this option use browser and from the drop down choose chrome os so once you select it again go back to the microsoft website refresh the page and now this time when it will be reloading at the bottom you'll find windows 10 2023 update and it will ask you the addition so select windows 10 multi addition iso then click on confirm now here you have to choose the product language then click on confirm and then you have to choose the bit so either you have to go with 32 bit and 64 bit now one thing that you will have to keep in your mind here because in the next step we will be also downloading windows 11 so make sure that if you are choosing english united states and 64-bit download for windows 10 then you will have to do the same for windows 11 as well all right so once you have downloaded windows 10 it will take some time so wait and once it's been downloaded you need to come to the google page again type windows 11 download and then again scroll down you will find download windows 11 disk image choose the addition then here you have to choose the same language english united states that we choose before and then again we will choose 64-bit download and now once the downloading get started i have already downloaded so that i can save some time so that it should not take much time to explain you so once both windows 10 and 11 are being downloaded you can see it's been downloaded over here so first you will have to click on windows 10 click on open and once you click on open you will see that an automatically dvd drive has been created right so once you come up here you will see all the windows 10 files now what we will be doing here we will be moving all this file to a new folder that will be creating on desktop so right click on your desktop choose new folder and rename it as win 11 install once created copy all the file of windows 10 and paste in this new folder that we just created all right so the files are being now copied now we are remaining with one more step now so again you have to right click on the dvd drive eject it again you bring up your file explorer now you have to look for windows 11 iso that you just downloaded double click on it to open it then click on open and now here you will see all the windows 11 file look for the sources folder double click on it and then you have to look for a file here install.wim all right once you get it copy it 
then go back to windows 11 installed folder that we just created on the desktop here also click on the sources and paste that install.wim then choose to replace the file in the destination and it will take some time and your windows 10 file will be now replaced with windows 11.wim file all right so we are all done now simply click on the windows 11 installed folder that we created on desktop and here you will see again all kind of file just click on the setup and the setup will be started you will be getting installed windows 10 so don't worry it won't be installing windows 10 so once you come on this page you will have to click on change how windows setup and then here select the second option not right now then you have to click on next this will be checking your pc now so we just made some changes so i'm very sure that you will not be getting any error message and it will move with the next step now here click on accept and it says ready to install install windows 11 home single language key personal file and apps so here we will be keeping all the personal files so that nothing should be deleted so you will have to keep this selected to the first option but if you want to delete the app you can go with the second option and in case if you want to delete everything then you can go with the third option so i want to keep all my file and apps i will go with the first option and then i will click on install and once i click on it the installation will now be started and this can take now around 15 to 20 minutes or probably 40 to 45 minutes depending uh, what kind of speed you are getting and once it will be finally completed you will see that the login page will now be coming up so here you have to click and then you need to sign in with your pin or password and once you are signed in it may give you some kind of setup page so again follow the instruction follow the steps and once it will be done you will be getting this kind of windows 11 desktop and here you can see that i have my windows 11 installed now without any kind of problem so this is how you can also install windows 11 on unsupported hardware with a very easy method and hopefully this will work for you as well and if you like the video guys and found this helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye